day to Wegmans. It's Friday, June 18th. And so the president just declared, this yesterday just declared today um, a federal holiday. So I don't have to work today, which is an unexpected, unexpected gift. So I will take it. But I'm walking to Wegmans, which is the best grocery store in the world, to get coffee. So it's about 7.45 or so. And it's a beautiful day. It's like in the 60s, but it'll get up to like 88 today. So, but I'm excited about having an extra day of the weekend. today. I could totally do this four day work week. That'd be amazing. You know, it's not a bird, you know. <laughs> So Father's Day, Father's Day is this weekend, so I got some fun cards. Um, I love cards. I'm a letter writer, and I love sending letters. And I actually remember back in college, which was about ugh, 16 years ago or, or whatnot, I remember, and I have found, letters from my college friends. We'd write back and forth during the summer, and it's so different from how we communicate now, but I still love cards. Um, so this is for my dad. It's uh, great dads throughout history. And it just features, my dad will love this. It just features different historical characters and then what their dads say, like Amelia Earhart's dad. Where in the world do you think you're going dressed like that young lady? And she's dressed like an aviator, Confucius's dad, nobody likes a wise guy, Mr. Shakespeare's dad. To be or not to be, that is the question you should go ask your mother. So, I think this is quirky enough, and my dad's pretty quirky and enjoys history. So, and then of course, oh, there you go. Happy Father's Day. Um, so, there's that. Um, my brother has a four year old. So, this is not a Father's Day card, it's just a blank card, but it has a llama with, I don't know, braces. A grill, diamond braces. I don't know, but it's goofy looking, and so then I can just write whatever I want because my brother is goofy. And then my cousin, um, my cousin and I have birthdays two days apart, and we're both turning 40 this year, so she gets an old lady being cool. I don't know what that move is called. What the dab? The dap? I don't know. I'm, I'm obviously not cool if I don't know this, but. You're only as old as your dance moves, and both of, I, both of us took dancing throughout our lives. So she gets a cool card with a cool old woman on it. So I'm going to mail those out today. So since I unexpectedly have the day off, I am um, actually driving out to a farmer's market that is probably about 25 miles away from my house because somehow I got on their mailing list and it looks like it's not one of those um, like pop-up markets that just come up like on the weekends, but it's actually like a solidified market that's open um, every day. So I always, I'm on their mailing list, I always see it, so I figured I would go, um, go try to do that while I have the time. Because like this weekend, like we're going to a, a 
chocolate making class tomorrow and to learn how to make truffles and, and things like that. So we're going to that um, and I also need to continue organizing and decluttering. It's definitely not going as fast as I would like because I'm a sentimental pack rat. That's it. So slowly but surely I've been letting go of things but I really just need to do it's not making a dent in anything. So I really just need to bite the bullet and do something. Like I read the Marie Kondo book about um, the magic the magic of tidying up or, or whatnot. Um, but it's, uh, it just seems too, yes, it's very um, prescriptive and she gives you an exact step-by-step -step way of doing this, but it just really seems super ruthless and I know some people have talked about when it comes to decluttering that it, you have to be ruthless in order to to get rid of a lifetime's worth of stuff that you've accumulated in a short time like it took a long time to get there but now if you you can't take that same amount of time to not get there essentially so ugh, so hard I'm one of those people that are also not only my sentimental, but I'm one of those people who can see a use for everything. And I'm always like, well, what if I need it again? Or there's still use in this. I'm like, ugh. I just cannot bear to throw away something that can still be used by someone. And then I start on the quest of trying to find that someone who will use it. It is just nuts. Just nuts. Tricky. Oh my gosh, look at the little piglets. Look at the little piglet. Look how cute. And the goats hanging out. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken right there. I don't think I get enough sun. Look at the piggies. Oh. Hello. Hello, you're cute. Oh my gosh, look at the piglet. Baby, oh, it's so rough. Hi, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Good morning. It is Saturday, June nineteenth. It's June nineteenth, and I woke up with such a painful crick in my neck. Like I don't even know where it came from. Like the shoulder is really, really tight, and I don't know if it's just the tightness and moving across, but I need to do something about it. Like I'm massage. Massage therapist or something. I've been to a massage therapist or something because it hurts. And honestly, I haven't been to a massage therapist in like, well, since pre pandemic, so maybe in 2019 I went. That was my birthday, so I know, so maybe that would be a good, good birthday present. But oh, let me tell you. So I am turning 40 this year. I think I mentioned that. And I'm not, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, I'm turning 40, all this bad stuff. Like, it's fine, it's whatever. It is what it is. I still feel like I'm 26. Like, Mentally, like I still feel like I'm young, young, spring chicken, 26. And the fact that I use the term spring chicken is obviously something that a young person doesn't say. Um, just get these weird, just weird aches and pains everywhere. It's just really bizarre. Don't get old. French company, they source their people mm. from all over. And their, their main factory is in France. So. It doesn't have much taste at all, it's very black. Uh, Is it moisturizing well, your skin? Yeah. Look at my pretty truffles and my chocolate ribbons. Mm. So and chocolate shavings. What's really interesting is this ganache. Yeah. Is what it ends up being on the inside of like those types of those mm. types of truffles. That's fascinating to me. Wow. 
I like that. You know, I, I follow that that culinary path. Your culinary um, calling. Right. <laughs> Look at that. So good. Okay, ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. Interesting. All right, your turn. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so we had a change of plans today. Well, tonight we were going to go walk around some other neighborhood. Um, but instead, my well, my fiance's best friend, so the guy who's going to be his best man, um, will be in town so we're gonna go see them and we are going to practice our new chocolate making skills for them so my task was while my fiance got the chocolate I was gonna get the topping so I got we're gonna chopped cherries cool um, coconut chips which are amazing the bear coconut chips I can eat a whole bag in one sitting we got some honey roasted peanuts and some small M&Ms. So we're just going to make some um, pieces of chocolate. I have a mold and we're going to put different toppings on and we're just going to put different toppings on the chocolate. Okay, I'm eating it. Mm. Make sure you, remember you let it sit on the tongue. Exhale. Hmm. Wow, I taste the wine. Mm, I do too. Mm. What is that? Dark chocolate and wine Merlot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at it. It's like... It's eh. crumbly. Mm Hello there, it is Sunday, June 20th. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And today I'm on my porch garden, hoping to revitalize my poor drooping plants. Um, I know some may just be lack of sun because I know I don't have a lot of sun here on the porch. Some may be poor soil and some just may be weak and crappy plants. But I bought this Espoma or Organic Fish Fertilizer. And so I'm going to add this to a gallon of water and fertilize my plants while I'm watering them. So it says feed while you water. So we will give this a shot and see what happens. It doesn't look appetizing, but it is spinach, apple, carrot, cucumber, and a dash of lemon juice. We're walking on the hemlock trail. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about 